Candidates should be able to describe an increase in temperature of an object increases its internal energy and the, the average kinetic energies of all the particles. Define specific heat capacity in the object. Describe experiments to measure the specific heat capacity of a solid. Describe experiments to measure the specific heat capacity of a liquid. When an object is heated, its temperature increases. This causes the average kinetic energies of all particles in the object to increase. The potential energy of particles may remain constant, or increase slightly due to expansion, because the separation between particles may also remain constant, or increase slightly due to expansion. Therefore, the internal energy of the object increases. This internal energy is also known as the thermal or heat energy. The thermal energy, delta E, added to an object of mass, M, to increase its temperature, delta T, can be written as the equation. Delta E equals M C delta T, where delta E is the thermal energy in joules. M is the mass in grams or kilograms. C is the specific heat capacity of the substance in joules per gram degree Celsius or joules per kilogram degree Celsius. Delta T is the change in temperature in degree Celsius or kelvins. Specific heat capacity, C, is defined as the thermal energy that required per unit mass to increase the temperature by 1 degree Celsius or Kelvin. It remains constant for a given substance. The experiment to measure the specific heat capacity of a metal block. We set up the apparatus as shown in the diagram. The thermometer is used to measure the change in temperature. The heater is used to supply heat to the metal block. It is connected to a voltmeter and an ammeter to measure the power input. The metal block is insulated with an insulating material such as rubber, plastic, or cloth to reduce thermal energy loss to the surroundings. The stopwatch is used to measure the time it takes for the temperature to change. The procedure of measuring the specific heat capacity is as follows. First, Measure the mass of the metal block using a scale balance. Second, turn on the heater and wait for it to reach the maximum heat. Then, start the stopwatch and record the initial temperature, T1. Third, read the voltage, V, on the voltmeter and the current, I, on the ammeter. Fourth, time the interval for T seconds, then record the final temperature, T2. Fifth, Calculate the thermal energy added to the metal using the equation, delta E equals P multiplied by T, where P is the power input, which P equals voltage, V, times current or I. Therefore, C equals delta E over, M, delta T. And substitute delta E to, V, I, T. Delta T equals T, 2, minus T, 1. Specific heat capacity, C, calculated from this experiment will be more than the actual value of the metal block, because some of the thermal energy is lost to surroundings, causing a smaller change in temperature. The experiment to measure the specific heat capacity of a liquid. We set up the apparatus, as shown in the diagram. The apparatus are changed at the insulated container that fills with a liquid. There is an insulated lid to reduce thermal energy loss to the surroundings. The procedure of measuring the specific heat capacity of a liquid is the same as for a solid, with the following changes. The mass of the liquid is measured by weighing the empty insulated container. And then weighing the container with the liquid. The difference in mass is the mass of the liquid. The specific heat capacity is calculated using the equation. C equals delta E over M delta T, where delta E is the thermal energy added to the liquid. M is the mass of the liquid. Delta T is the change in temperature. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. 
Thank you.